Then 165 pounder Alan Arzino versus Fred Pierce. Our main card begins top of the hour at 205 pounds. Lorenzo Hunt versus Davian Green. 155 pounders Eddie Hope versus Jeff Schiffings. At 135 pounds, Jared Grant versus Chris Johnson. In the 195 pound division, Yuli Diaz versus Daniele Benedetto. At 175 pounds, Francesco Ricci versus Noah Cutter. Our feature bout, women's 125 pounders, Britton Hart versus Randine Eckholm. Tonight's co-main, Jake Bostwick versus Tyler Vogel at 185 pounds. And our main event, the champion Luis Palomino versus Jim Allers for the BKFC 155 pound world title. Hey everyone, I'm Sean Wheelock. So glad that you were with us for BKFC 14. This is our live worldwide exclusive free view. Two prelims coming up for this absolutely stacked 10 fight BKFC 14 card. Following our two prelims, you will move top of the hour to the Bare Knuckle app. Download it now, bareknuckle.tv. It is the BKTV app. You can see our main eight fight card, which culminates in our main event. Again, at stake, the BKFC 155 pound world title, currently held by Luis Palomino, as he faces the fighter who is 4-0 with three knockouts in the BKFC ring, Jim Allers. So again, top of the hour, switch to our app. You can download it right now on all mobile devices and online, and headed your way live, free, and worldwide online. It is our two opening bouts of the evening. BK14 from Intercontinental Miami. We are now set for our opening fight of the night. Time now for the numbers with this 165 pound bout. Kimon Evans versus Cedric Johnson. Joining me always on commentary is Chris Lights Out Lytle. The main thing you're gonna see when you look at this, height being a little bit different, weight very similar, reach very similar. So there's not a lot to be able to tell from here. The only thing you really know is these two guys are both coming to fight and throw down. Our tale of the tape is presented by Tiger Life Energy Drink. Kimon Evans, 1-0 and in BKFC, 5-0-1 in his pro boxing career. Feels that he brings outstanding footwork to bare knuckle from boxing. He told us, I want to angle and slip rather than just block punches. Absolutely. I thought it was very interesting. One thing he said, he didn't get to learn too much from his first fight because it was too fast. And it was too fast because he landed some devastating punches. The walk-off knockout, very good. We saw his skills. We saw his athleticism. Hopefully we can see right now if he's more of a, just a pure boxer or if he's going to be a complete bare-knuckle fighter. 
Evan said of Cedric Johnson, he's very predictable. He loads up on punches. He said, I respect the fact that he has quick hooks, but I'm the better boxer. I'm also the much smarter fighter. I'm going to work off of my jab. I'm going to control the range from the outside. Well, and that's one thing I really like about what he was talking about was the thing he thinks people will notice about him is his high fight IQ. He wants people to know when he's out there, he is in control of what's going on, when punches are thrown, when the distance is going to be, where the fight's going to happen. He wants everybody to know his footwork and his IQ is what's going to win him this fight. Again, this is the first of two prelims. BKFC 14 from Intercontinental Miami in Miami, Florida. Glad you're with us watching our free view online worldwide. Again, top of the hour, our main card begins. Shift to the Bare Knuckle TV app. To get the evening started, we send it to the always outstanding Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Intercontinental Hotel, Live worldwide from the 305. And tonight, ladies and gentlemen, also being the most special day of 2020, we're talking about Friday the 13th. We welcome you to BKFC 14 on BKTV. We begin tonight's event with our first preliminary fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bare-knuckle 175-pound division. Presented to you by Tiger Life Energy, the cleaner energy drink. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears black and white. His official weight, 172 pounds. He is an MMA veteran of five professional fights. Fighting out of Pensacola, Florida, here is Cedric, the rugged son of God, Johnson. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Tonight, he wears blue, a blonde blue, with white. His official weight, 174.8 pounds. His pro boxing record stands undefeated at 5-0. And his bare knuckle record is also undefeated at 1-0. Fighting out of New Smyrna Beach, Florida, by way of Daytona Beach, Florida. Here is King Kimon and our referee in charge of the action, Big Dan Mergliata. Both fighters up to scratch. All right, gentlemen, total Ron line. Evans, 1-0 and in BKFC. Bare knuckle debut for Cedric Johnson. The bell in round number one. Black trunks for Cedric Johnson, who has the rapid fire star with the hook off yep. the scratch line. Blue trunks for Kimon Evans. Right, break, clean, this is clean, immediately the distance that Cedric Johnson wants to the inside. I like what Cedric's doing. I mean, he's got to be a little careful right there. Right. He's Cedric, being no true to his word, he's trying to make this a dirty break. fight right now. He's going to lose, he feels, if it's a clean outside boxing match. There's a good left hook from Kimon Evans. Right down here. It's an all-bouts tonight, scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Break, Already please, 30 please, seconds gone break. round number one. If you're new to so Bare Knuckle so Fighting so Championship, break. these two-minute so rounds up. absolutely fly by. Hands Off of the jab goes Kimon up. Evans. And that's what we're going to look. We're going to see Kimon really work on timing these attacks that are going to be done by Cedric. Break out. Again, that's break. a legal clinch. That's an active clinch. Box, right? When it becomes inactive, you see the separation Let's just like that from Dan Bergliotta. Right hand without the left jab set up from Cedric Johnson. There's the good, powerful jab from Evans. See, right now, Cedric, he's, he, he's just standing outside his target practice right now. He's got to close that gap. He's got to figure out how to get in there behind the jab to overhand now. rights, make this a, a dirty fight. Two. See the feint, the double feint back to the inside comes Cedric right, Johnson please. down Come to on. his knees. Overly right. aggressive, ruled the slip correctly. Look, look, look. Right back to it. Good jab, big right hand from Kimon Evans. Evans is stalking him right now. He feels a knockout coming. And down goes Cedric Johnson. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't eight. know if Cedric's getting up. No, he, 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 does, he does not, not get up. Anymore. Takes the 10 count from Dan Bergliotta. And just like that, Kimon Evans is 2 0 oh in bare knuckle fighting championship. 2 0. Oh. Two knockouts, looking fantastic right now. It looks like he's going to be a real force to contend with. 
Notice how he kept him at the end of his punches right there. He didn't want Cedric getting in. He kept him at bay, and when he felt the time in his right, he threw that hard right hand and caught Cedric right in the right spot. <laughs> here, New Samaritan Daytona. Hey, who's the counter three eight six? Eight six. Eight six. We here. Wasn't quite this simple, but Kevon <laughs> Evans wanted to use his boxing. Cedric Johnson wanted to use his brawling, and it was the boxing that won out. Look at that right hand. Yes, right on the right spot. He knows his opponent's in trouble right now. Wait for the right time to go in for the kill, and there it was. Notice that hard right hand right in the nose. See the blood flying away. Second punch missed, caught under the arms, but it was that right hand to the nose. That is the decisive punch of this fight. Great patience from Kevon Evans. Cedric Johnson not making it easy early. No, no, he did what he needed to do, but then once he got clipped right then and there, and that is when Kevon took a break. He timed it right, he waited, he didn't rush in. That's when another fighter's dangerous when you rush in. He waited, he set it up, and he threw the big right hand. When a guy's hurt like that, you know he's ready for the night. Here is Jeff Houston. Charge, Big Dan Mergliata reaches the count of 10 at one minute, 40 seconds into round number one for your winner by KO, King Kimon Evans. Kimon Evans, definitely a fighter to watch in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championships, 175 pound division. As you just said, Chris, now two fights, two wins, two knockouts for Evans. In our opening bout of the evening, the winner by way of first round knockout, Kimon Evans defeats Cedric Johnson. The Bare Knuckle TV Bear -knuckle app is now here. Watch live BKFC fights and get unlimited access to the full library of past BKFC events. Plus, you can see the new Toe the Line fight series, BKFC fighter interviews, behind the scenes content, the latest news, and more. It's available on all smartphones and most streaming devices. Download now at bktvapp.com. Remember the way to watch our main show, which begins top of the hour. Eight fights on this BKFC 14 main card is on our Bare Knuckle TV app. Again, download it right now, bktvapp.com. Subscribe now, $3.99 for month. Again, watch your content anywhere. Laptop, mobile, TV, and more, bktvapp.com. With Chris Lights Out Lionel, I'm Sean Wheelock. Joined, as always, by the third member of our commentary team, Brian Sosha. Thank you very much, Sean. Thank you very much, Sean. Come back here with Paige Van And this is your first live BKFC. Excited to be here. I know you're excited to be here. And we've been following your progress with Paige on gloves. We're going to see that in a minute. What a wonderful uh, snapshot of you getting ready. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Honestly, that was the very first bare knuckle fight that I have ever seen live. And honestly, it was amazing. It got me really excited to fight here. Um, it just kind of got me like more excited for the moment. It kind of went ex ex exactly how I thought it would for these kind of fights. So, uh, I mean, you got your ring on there. I mean, how are your knuckles feeling? Can we take a shot of your knuckles here? See how they're looking? I know you've been Nails look hard. cute. Knuckles are a little bruised. <laughs> I got a little black eye that I was able to cover up. But uh, training, that just means I'm training super hard. Nails and knuckles. I love it, man. So, uh, I just, I just know that, you know, I, I know that uh, with the Paige Van Sant on glove that we shot, uh, I saw you training really hard. I saw you with Tiago Alves. He's there at the camp. He's training with you. You'll see him in that. How much has that benefited you training with Tiago, who had his first uh, bare knuckle fight a while ago? It's absolutely huge having somebody that I can train alongside with that is going through the exact same thing that I am, but also has a little bit more experience is amazing because I get to learn from him every single day. I got to pick his brain on how this differentiates from an MMA fight and 
what the nerve differences were, what he felt like the athletic differences were, and now I get to actually like watch him train and then utilize all of those tools. That's exciting, and you know what else is exciting? Later on tonight, I know you're going to be on commentary with Sean and Chris out there. We've never heard you on commentary at Bare Knuckles, so now we're going to get your real reactions as you watch the female fight. Are you excited about that? Absolutely, yeah. I've actually commentated alongside Sean Wheelock before for a few events um, for K1 Global for some grappling events, so I'm excited to do this. will be my first Bare Knuckle commentary. Um, so I'm excited. I get to actually hear what's going through my mind as the fights play out. That's going to be interesting to check that out. And we're excited to hear you on, well, not even a three-man booth. It's a two men and a lady booth. Yep. <laughs> and uh, we're excited to see what you think of uh, someone that could potentially be your opponent. I mean, who knows? Absolutely. Yeah, it's great. I get to watch some ladies throw down, and it's, it's always exciting. It's definitely exciting. That's what we do here at Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. We bring the excitement. If you notice, it's fast-paced. Have you noticed how fast-paced it is? Absolutely, and that's the most important thing is knowing what kind of opponent you're going to have. If they're going to be somebody who pushes the pressure immediately off the go, or if they're going to try to fill you out and make it carry on to that fifth round. You know, you have five rounds to, of fighting that's yeah. out there, but you never know if it's going to actually go that far. Uh, you never know, but I know you've been training hard. You're ready if it goes that far, it seems to me, from watching you train. We were down there with our production guy, Evan, and we shot Paige Ungloved, uh, your progress. We started doing that. I'd like to take a look at that right now. Please enjoy Paige Ungloved. Training's been going great. I've been here in Coconut Creek for about two months now, and I definitely feel like I've found a group of coaches that I've connected with, and um, you know, everything's pointing to a really successful fight camp. Honestly, the hardest trip, part of the transition for me is just not being able to kick. I, I, for my entire career, I have a head kick knockout. I, I've been known to kick people a lot, and that's the one thing I am like missing. I kind of itching to kick somebody again. But other than that, I, I really, I don't miss wrestling. I don't miss being on the jujitsu mat right now. I'm truly having a lot of fun, and I can see the growth in my movement, especially my striking. And, no matter where my career takes me, that's always going to be something I'm going to be able to have. The growth will transcend to any career I choose in combat sports, I guess. <laughs> it wouldn't help if I was like a bank teller. <laughs> Honest opinion, where's Paige at right now? Uh, Paige's in the right track, you know. She's a hard worker, she's a professional, you know, and she has the heart. So if she comes here, it doesn't matter who she trains uh, against, you know, usually she trains against guys. And she comes, she does her training well, she's improving, you know. It's a different game, so just like I did, you know, with my transition, there's a few things you gotta get your muscle memory to react, and a few patterns you have to understand. But she's a very smart chick, you know, so uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited for her debut. I think she's gonna do very, very well. Tiago had an amazing fight. All I thought from his fight is he looked absolutely amazing. Um, of course, cuts happen. I've been cut up in MMA my whole career, so it's definitely, um, it just added to the excitement. Watching this fight, it made me really excited for me to get my opportunity. Tiago is awesome. Honestly, when I walked into uh, American Top Team, this is technically an MMA gym, and Tiago immediately kind of took me under his wing and took me to every class he takes. He had me uh, train with him every session throughout the whole week with his schedule, and I was able to connect with and find the coaches that worked well with me. Um, at the end of the day, we're different people, but we somehow still have the same coaches, and, and it works really well to have kind of the same methodology that he's going through. I'll be going through the exact same system, and we really can have like a bare knuckle boxing team. And she has the same coaching staff that I have, you know. Uh, the beautiful thing, American Top Team, man, we have so many talent from all over the world, you know. So every day, you get just this flood of knowledge, you know, from different different views, different looks, and you know, different fighting styles, you know, so we're able to just blend everything to what we're going to use, you know, in this fight, and uh, I think she's in great hands, you know, uh, there is no rock and size to this, you know, it's very simple to us, you know, it's a fist fight, so you got to position yourself to make sure you're ready to throw, ready to slip, you know, ready to do whatever you need to do, so always be ready to attack or defend yourself, you know, and we're pretty good at that, you know, and uh, I think she couldn't be in a better place. She doing well. Every day, every day, you know. Yeah, she push. She was it's like a fight. She look like a fight. She's not only pity. No, no. She come and then inspire herself like a like a boy, like a big man. <laughs> she was it's the different game, you know. She was training. Now she was training box. It's not training jiu jitsu. Not training muay thai. Not training wrestling. More. No ease, but preparing more for, for knuckles, no? She was doing more session only for box. No, she's not tired because of grappling. 
jiu-jitsu is like a triathlon sport. No, it's, it's different. MMA was was completely different. The only box, but now she better every day training. That's training every day. Light sparring, sparring every day. Pads, bagging. More specific for box. I absolutely love that I'm going to be entering into this opportunity, and this is the gym where they're creating superstars, they're creating champions, and I wanted to be a part of that. There's the team, the best in the world, always champion everywhere. Champion Japan, UFC. I have a lot, a lot of belts. There's new belt for the gym. There's the... I think it's going to be, you know, a, a beautiful transition for her, you know, and I'm excited to see, you know, her, her shine in that stage. Honestly, it's really nice to have a husband and a support system where we're in the same career. Obviously, he's extremely successful. Um, we talk about him coming over to Bare Knuckle one of these days and at least having one fight because it, it is just a very exciting opportunity. Um, and it makes it easy, you know, we're on the same schedule, we understand the same routine. Most couples will work all week and then go out on the weekend and relax, but for us, our recovery is every Saturday we go to a spa, we go do ice baths, we do, go to recovery. It's, it's our entire lives are, you know, the main focus is being the best athlete possible. I feel like the people who matter and the people who are relevant within this sport know how hard I work and know how much my dedication um, stands out and my willingness to, you know, put myself in in dangerous positions. And I absolutely love that I'm going to be entering into this opportunity. and. My support system knows what I'm meant to do and where I belong, and, and that's exactly right here. Well, Paige Van Zandt, that was an excellent piece. I know you were enjoying watching it as well. Uh, I have to ask you, though, when you train, what is your favorite part of training? What do you like to do the most? Um, I mean, pretty much anything that I've already been doing. I, I'm a mixed martial artist for a reason because I love combat sports. I love, honestly, fighting people. I feel like it was what I was meant to do. Um, here at Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, it's like the rawest form of that where you're literally going out there and it's just about fighting. Well, how about uh, your clinch game? You were saying your clinch game is really good. That's very important in bare knuckle fighting. How's that going? It is, yeah. You know, something that I've transitioned over from uh, Muay Thai is my clinch game. It's something I feel very confident and strong in. And I'm seeing how other fighters are implementing it and using it and what works and what doesn't with that clinch game in, in, in you know, bare knuckle. Well, thank you very much. Paige Van Zandt here with us live tonight and she'll be stepping on commentary later with the two guys I'm about to throw it back to at ringside, Sean and Chris. Brian Page, thank you very much. So again, on our main card, which begins top of the hour, you can see it on the Bare Knuckle TV app. Download that right now on your computer, on your mobile device. That's our eight fight main card. Paige Van Zandt will be joining Chris Lights Out, Lytle and myself, Sean Wheelock on commentary for our feature fight of the evening, women's 125 pounders, Britton Hart versus Randy Neckholm. Chris, in the fighter meetings, both Britton Hart, Randy Neckholm talked a lot about Paige Van Zandt, almost seeing this <laughs> as an audition. I don't know if David Feldman, Nate Chook, the matchmaker of BKFC, quite see it that way. These two fighters definitely do. It ups the stakes, the fact that Paige Van Zandt will be sitting right here at our commentary table calling their fight. 100% because, like we talked about earlier, Paige is a huge star. It's fantastic to have her in this role being here, getting ready for a fight. I think the Ungloved is fantastic. One thing that really showed me was they have a whole gym, a whole part of that gym totally dedicated to bare knuckle. That is fantastic. That really shows the growth of this sport and where we're headed. And they have great coaches here. They have great staff. They have a, a great ability to be successful when you have a whole gym. For, I mean, that, that's something that, that's a big deal to me that people are taking this that serious because it is. This is a sport. This is the uh, fastest growing sport in the world. It's up and coming. Uh, she has a great camp, and I can't wait to see what she does with a great camp and experienced people who know how to do bare knuckle. Paige Van Zandt's highly anticipated Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship debut set for Super Bowl weekend here in Florida. Now, the Super Bowl will be in Tampa Bay. That fight is going to be two days before the Super Bowl, Friday, February 5th. It's going to be an absolutely loaded card. So we know the date. We don't yet know the opponent. A lot of speculation who will be first. Maybe it will be <laughs> Britton Hart. Maybe it will be Randy Neckholm. Maybe it will be someone entirely different. There are a lot of talented females on the BKFC roster at 125. Absolutely great weight class. A lot of, a lot of competitive fights right there. Who knows what could happen? I would imagine, you know, if these two girls are fighting here, it's probably for a reason. You know, Paige is going to be here. That's a little foreshadowing what can happen. But like you said, 
It could, that could be the next fight down the line. I think they have a lot of plans for Paige. Uh, like you said, she is a legitimate superstar. They want her here. She wants to be here, and that makes it a beautiful relationship. One more prelim to go on our free view. So glad you're with us watching live worldwide online. Top of the hour, our main card begins. And a reminder that you can download the app. You can also get Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship merchandise tonight and tonight only 50 percent off of all orders when you enter the promo code bkfc14 go online to bareknuckleshop.com they have a wide array of men's and women's apparel t-shirts hoodies hats and more 50 percent off tonight only when you use the promo code bkfc14 bareknuckleshop.com one fight, one finish. It came in the first round as Kimon Evans defeated Cedric Johnson. We're now set for our second fight from here at the stunning Intercontinental Miami in downtown Miami, Florida. You see our tale of the tape. It is presented by Fusion CBD Sports Water. Alan Arzeno versus Fred Pierce. Okay, here we have tale of the tape. Have a little bit of a size difference right now for Fred Pierce. A little bit of a reach advantage, fist size. Uh, that's not too much. We talked about having a little bit of a reach advantage. That is very important if you know how to use it. If sometimes you see a guy, he's got the reach advantage, but he fights inside. He just took away his advantage. So not much of a reach advantage there, but that's where reach comes into play. Fred Pierce, seven pro MMA fights, three pro kickboxing, four pro bare knuckle. Including a record of one and two in the promotion here, BKFC. Pierce told it me that in training, he's put a major focus on improving his footwork, improving his balance. He thought early on, he was throwing so hard, he was taking himself off balance. He said, I have corrected my footwork. I'm much more controlled, better defense, and I'm trying to avoid getting sucked into a brawl, which he said is my nature. Well, and he was 100% right there. He's throwing hard punches and throwing them off balance, making it easy for him to hit. That's one thing he's learned here. He, he's had three fights. You learn at a rapid rate, especially when you're getting hit. And what he's learned is it is pivotal not to get hit in this sport. So defense is everything. You have to figure out how to utilize that offense, but do it in a safe way, not trying to kill people. Alan Arzeno, originally from the Dominican Republic, now based here in Miami, Florida. This is his bare knuckle fighting championship debut. He's fought 17 times as a pro MMA fighter, including once in Combate Americas. He also has four pro Muay Thai fights. Arzeno said, I expect to be cut. I'm prepared for it. It's not going to bother me. He said, I cut it every fight I'm in. What I need to do in this bout is make adjustments as the fight progresses. He said, I feel it, Fred Pierce. He's talented, but he lacks a clear strategy. I'm going to fill him out early, assess what I think he wants to do, and then turn up the pressure. I really like talking with Alan. He had a couple really good things he was saying. One of them was he likes to fight like a chameleon. He can change the way he does it. He's not one style at all times. He's going to do whatever he has to do to adjust to his fighter. If this guy's coming forward, he can move. If this guy's backing up, he can come forward. He can do everything. He feels better than Fred Pierce. He better feel like that. You're going in there, you know? It's not good when you feel somebody does something better than you. He's very confident, though. I like talking to both these guys. Fred Pierce coming off a win, extremely confident as well. Again, Jeff Houston. Fight fans of Miami, we are set for our next preliminary fight of the night. Scheduled for five two-minute rounds in the bare-knuckle 165-pound division. Presented to you by Fusion CBD Sports Water. All the benefits you need for fast muscle recovery. Visit FusionCBDProducts.com. Introducing you first, fighting out of the red corner. Tonight, he wears white. His official weight, 164.5 pounds. As a bare knuckle fighter, he steps in with a record of one and three. Fighting out of Tallahanna, Oklahoma. Here is Fred, the bare knuckle cowboy, Pierce. And across.
across the ring, his opponent fighting on the blue corner. Tonight, he wears black and red. His official weight, an even 166 pounds. He holds a combined combat sports record of 20 professional fights. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, here is Alan the Rebel Arzano. And our referee in charge of the action, Chris Young. Yep. Chris Separate Young set yeah. to call both fighters up to scratch. Scratch the line, putting the fighters three feet apart. The bell and round number one. Black trucks for Alan Arzeno, white trucks for Fred Pierce. Step in overhand left into the clinch. Side headlock position by Fred Pierce, eats that right hook. Arzeno seems, he seems really relaxed out there right now. Arzeno, high tight striking guard. Pierce said, I want to let the fight come to me. I want to take my time. I can't rush. Overhand right from Pierce doesn't get through the big exhale. And you can really see the, the, the maturation right there of Fred Pierce. He's fighting quite a bit different than he did his first few fights. Looks like he hurt his leg. What's good? Switch of stances. Almost a duck under from Pierce. Pierce off balance, misses with that right hook. He's having some problems with his leg. If he hurt his ankle, I'm not sure what happened right there. Visibly limping there. Noticed as well by the referee Christopher Young. And down goes Fred Pierce. He hurt his knee. It looks like he's grabbing his knee. I don't know if he's going to be able to fight. Fred Pierce says that he wants to continue. Arzena running forward, looking to finish, and Pierce down for the second time in this round. Kind of, a, kind of an awkward injury. I, I, I didn't really even see anything happen to it. No three knockdown rule in effect, but Christopher Young, the referee, really watching Fred Pierce closely. It seems to be the left knee that he's favoring. Young looking very tentative. No, don't. I clean. 30 seconds remaining. Flip, 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 flip. And this yeah. fight is over. Christopher Young stops it. Fred Pierce's leg just giving out, and the win for Ar Alan Arzeno. And huge disappointment for Fred Pierce. Very unfortunate for that to end like that. Fred was on a high note. He was doing great after his last victory. You could see the, the confidence swelling in him. And, and to have it end like this on, on a strange injury, I don't know what happened to it. It just looked like he stood the right, stepped on the wrong way, and, and, and I don't know what happened. It's an injury TKO round number one. As long as the injury does not result from a foul, and that clearly was not the case, there was no foul whatsoever from Arzeno. The injury, to the dismay and disappointment of Fred Pierce in his camp, takes him out of this fight in the first round. Pierce went down three times, and all three were from the buckling of that left leg. Yeah, very disappointing in that one, because really you didn't get to see what either fighter would have done. It, I, yeah. I, I, just looked like he just stepped on it funny. He just could have... See him clutching the bottom of his left knee. I wonder if he had an old injury and just came back. This was the one time when there was some good exchanges going on. You could tell Fred Pierce was still, he wasn't able to fight the way he wanted to. He was in desperation mode. See, we, he talked about him having more balance, but he had until this injury and that threw everything out of whack. It's a good bit of refereeing by Christopher Young. He recognized that Fred Pierce was hurt. Pierce down twice, and really just taking himself down to the canvas inadvertently off balance for the third time, the third rule knockdown. And that was it, the injury. The win for Alan Arzeno, who showed tremendous class and sportsmanship as soon as this fight was waved off. Coming over to check on and console his opponent, Fred Pierce. Arzeno clearly did not want to win his BKFC debut on an injury. That is the result. What we thought would be a spectacular yeah, exactly. a fight. We knew it would be close, and it ends like this. Fred Pierce being helped out of the ring with a look of abject disappointment and pain on his face. Well, the strange thing about that, you can tell it happens sometimes, but that looked like something you could do cutting grass at home or something. That wasn't an injury from a fight. Seemed to be the odd step. A great job on the replay from our first class production crew. You see Fred Pierce being helped backstage. Here's Jeff Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Due to an unforeseen injury in the red corner, our referee in charge, Chris Young, steps in and calls a stop to the fight at 1 minute 31 seconds into round number one for your winner by TKO, Alan the Rebel Arzano. And again, if an injury happens without a foul, which was clearly the case there, even a fluke such as that, the misstep by Fred Pierce, and that leads to the end of the fight, it's ruled as a TKO. That's what happens, 91 seconds into round number one. Victorious by way of first round TKO due to injury, Alan Arzeno defeats Fred Pierce. Tonight only, you will receive 50% off BKFC merchandise when you place your order. Go online to bareknuckleshop.com and use the promo code BKFC14. You can purchase t-shirts, hoodies, hats, and collectibles. There are styles and sizes for women and men in a wide array of colors. Again, use the promo code BKFC14 tonight only to receive 50% 50 off your order. Bareknuckleshop.com. Chris, we're used to getting finishes. Injuries have been exceedingly rare in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship. Again, David Feldman launched BKFC June 2nd, 2018 in Cheyenne, Wyoming. This is our 14th event. Very few injuries, very few transports to the hospital, far fewer than MMA, far fewer than professional boxing. That was just a fluke injury, unfortunate as it may be for Fred Pierce. Unfortunate, too, for Alan Arzeno. There's oh, always yeah. the flip side. You know as well as anybody as an A-list fighter, no one wants to win that way. When you train that hard, you train that long, you want to come out here and put on a show. You want to showcase it for the fans. And he didn't get to do that. So I understand his frustration. He wanted to go out here. He wanted everybody to be talking about his fight afterwards. That's not going to be the case besides the guy got injured. So very unfortunate. But like you were talking about earlier, not a lot of injuries in this sport. It's kind of counterintuitive to what you think. You think this is more dangerous. You get more cuts. I will give you that. But you don't get more injuries. There's a big difference between an injury and a superficial wound. I'll take a cut all day over any real injury. It's going to take me months to, to, to overcome and, and go to rehab. You don't have to rehab a cut. You take it out in seven days and it's over. So nice and easy. So top of the hour, our main card begins. Our free view will end. And we thank all of you watching our two prelims worldwide online. So top of the hour, BKFC's eight fight main card begins on the app. And that is the way to watch it. BKTV.com, that is the way to see tonight's BKFC 14. Welcome to the world of Bare Knuckle TV. Watch every live Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship pay-per-view event for only $3.99 per month. Enjoy our all-new library of content, including unlimited access to the full archive of BKFC pay-per-views, behind-the-scenes access, exclusive BKFC original series, and additional live bare knuckle fights from around the globe. You can access it anywhere you want, anytime you want, instantly on most streaming devices. It's available right now on the Bare Knuckle TV app, over 1,000 hours of on-demand content, uncut and uncensored. All here, anytime you want, anywhere you want, for only $3.99 a month. Subscribe now exclusively at BKTVapp.com. Two fights tonight in our prelims, two finishes. Again, we just saw the unfortunate injury to Fred Pierce, defeated by Alan Arzeno in round number one. Kimon Evans getting the first round win versus Cedric Johnson. That was on a huge right hand. We've seen a higher rate of finishes in Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship than in any other combat sport promotion worldwide. Absolutely, and that's really what people want to see, and they've kind of set up the rules and everything to try and promote that. You're starting three feet away. You want to push the action. You can clinch. You can still throw punches. People want to see that, and we've had a lot of great knockouts so far in the career. I can't wait to, I mean, can't wait to see the fights we're going to have tonight. There's going to be some good knockouts, I promise. Just like mixed martial arts is not jujitsu with strikes, <laughs> bare knuckle fighting is not boxing without gloves. We talked about this earlier. There is an arc to this sport. There's a rapid evolution. Fighters are getting smarter on their targets. They're getting smarter on their movements, smarter on their defense. Well, I think we've shown that when you do bring just a pure boxer in, 
They don't win all the time. It's not what you would think. They think, oh, they have the huge advantage. This isn't boxing with no gloves. Like you talk about, this is a whole new sport. This is bare knuckle fighting. So it's a combination of different things, and, and the sport is still evolving, and that's what makes it so exciting to watch right now. Get yeah, top of the level. hour, BKTVapp.com is the way to watch our main card. We're in Intercontinental Miami. You're from Indiana, I'm from Kansas. Brother, this is a posh <laughs> hotel. There is a star-studded crowd. There is a lot of MMA firepower in the audience. NFL players are here. Major League Baseball players are here. Professional boxers are here. This is a VIP-only invite crowd. It is filled to capacity. They're following all local guidelines, but the atmosphere is electric. There are a lot of fight fans here. We now send you to some of the best finishes in BKFC history. Side right here is exactly where Vestante wants it right now. He needs to do that to try and slow the pace down. There is talked about the head movement to get to the pocket. That's exactly what we've oh, seen. Game, set, match. Wow. And walk away. One punch knockout to finish this fight and the win for Caitlin Harris. And this right here, look at this right hand straight on the button. Perfect. That's a tough thing when both guys were going for their punch. Vestante going for the uppercut. He just got beat to the punch. I'm a former professional boxing referee. Mm. You're trained as a referee. Watch how the fighter falls. Look at Bill Clancy. Immediately, he's waving off the fight. He sees how Vestante is falling face first. Well, anytime when you don't put your hands down, you know that you are unconscious on your way down. They're not going to let that fight go on no matter what. If somebody slips on ice or slips on water, instinctively and reflexively, they put their hands down. You saw Vestante was absolutely out face first. That's just a phenomenal performance by Caleb Harris. And that's a really gritty performance in defeat for Jonathan Vistante. Under both eyes. Very interesting opening round and that Henry largely has had the offense. But Marlboro has landed the big shot, but now he goes down in the final seconds of round one. You cannot be saved by the bell in any round. He will not be saved there. And a come from behind first round victory for Quentin. And once again, once he was able to establish that jab, he was able to land good, nasty punches just like that. Hit him right on the button, exactly what he talked about earlier today. He wanted to set up the jab to land that right hand. Here's another look at it. Bam, right on the button. See the mouthpiece flying out as well. Referees in all combat sports are trained to watch how does a fighter go down when they're knocked down. You see, human beings just are not built to fall that way. Marlboro, despite an outstanding effort in round one, taking too much from that shot, and that is the end. The winner, in emphatic fashion, and come from behind fashion by way of first round knockout, Quentin Henry defeats Bubba Marlboro. Worry about the power, just land punches. Huge overhand right, then the left, a big left hand! Gonzaga looking to finish here in round number two. Ferocious uppercut. Oh, wow. Down goes Silva on the left hand. And the referee immediately waves it off. He's seen enough. Those punches were huge. The win with emphasis in our main event goes to Gabriel Gonzaga. Now he's already hurt. He's landed everything he's thrown at him right now. Just took one clean shot. Uppercut, and that was it right there. He's hurt. One more. Oh, that left hand after the uppercut. A lot of times when you land the uppercut, it stands him straight upright. You'll see the uppercut land here in a minute. After he lands that uppercut, his head is just a sitting target, just waiting to get hit. Look at the right hand of Antonio Silva right trying to keep himself up, Ooh. holding the top rope. Reaches for that top rope, eats the left hand. And that is game, set, match. And watch, when Susie lands this uppercut right here, he sees those hands are, he throws a right uppercut. As soon as he lands that, boom, the head straight up. Like you said, trying to hold on, but once he got hit with that left hand, there's nothing he could do. Ferocity in the finish for Gabriel Gonzaga. And then and throwing hard punches the entire time. He's got to be careful doing that. He's landing the more... Oh, Huge right wow. of hand! I think they Coral might call down him again, right and that is it! A lightning strike win for Gustavo Trujillo! Wow, what a right hand he landed. Put him down. He hit so hard at Rob Morrow. His head bounced off the canvas. Great stoppage right there by the referee because he was just going to get hurt even more. There was no way his head was in it after getting a shot like that. Head bouncing off the canvas really shows that you were not only hurt, but you were almost knocked out at that point. In his home state 
Oh, for sure. I don't know if you noticed when they uh, announced your Kansas guy, not one cheer. <laughs> Uppercut, almost a bolo oh. punch, and the counter shot. Down Ooh. goes Stevenson, Ooh. and he takes the count, and he wobbles. And there's that big, giving the count. There's that big right hand we talked about. You know it's coming. Sometimes it's harder to stop than you think. Harris is still hurt right now. Kenny needs to come with some more big right hands. If you see, there it was right there. That's 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 that fine. might be game, set, match. Face first for Stevenson as he falls. He's not there. His feet are not there. If he lets his fight go on, okay. Clancy waves it off. Just no ability to get out of the way. Still hurt. He got hit hard. Face planted on the ground. It's not really the same when you get up from the first time and your legs aren't there. You're you're not reacting well. You see punches coming, but your body's not moving. I'm not sure if Kenny Lee Sale was watching the monitor backstage for our opening bout of the pay-per-view when Adrian Miles disqualified for the illegal punch to the ground to West Combs because you can see Lee Sale thinks about throwing and then pulls it back. That's a good point right there, Hey, I thought, I'm winning this fight, I don't want to get disqualified. It's hard when you got that MMA background. Sometimes it just takes over you and jump in and finish the fight, but it's already finished. Luis Palomino is the reigning BKFC 155-pound world champion, set to make his first title defense, which he is fully intent on making a successful title defense. And tonight's main event is he faces the undefeated Jim Allers, BKFC 14 from Miami, Florida. You've been with us for our prelims on the Freeview online worldwide. Now, to watch BKFC 14, download the BKTV app, BKTVapp.com. Subscribe now, $3.99 a month. You can watch all BKFC live fights, including tonight, as well as the access to our full library of past bare knuckle fighting championship events. Luis Palomino, the champion, versus the undefeated challenger, Jim Allers, in our main event tonight from Miami. Chris Lytle, Brian Sosha, Paige Van Zant, and myself, Sean Wheelock, will see you top of the hour on the BKTV app. Download now, BKTVapp.com, for bare knuckle fighting championship 14.